Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi and in this video we're going to take a look at how to create this animation. The text and the pieces are sort of like falling down, it's crumbling down and it sort of creates a very interesting effect. So um, let's take a look at two ways of creating this effect. One is going to be uh, using a tool called Cavalry and this feature is a paid version in that Cavalry. So if you have or if you want to actually get Cavalry and use this, which is a really, really interesting and useful app. You can follow that technique. Or if you want to do it completely free, just wait for the last part of this video and I'm going to talk about that as well in this video. So let's jump into Cavalry and let me show you how I created this falling text animation, which is super simple. So Here I'm inside Cavalry and uh, I've already done an intro tutorial video on Cavalry in my YouTube channel. Check that out if you are very new to Cavalry. Uh, but what you basically need to understand here is that Cavalry is a motion design tool and it's sort of similar to After Effects but um, slightly different because of its procedural workflow and connectivity uh, technique. So let's take a look at how um, I created this. So I have the composition right here. We have our layers, we have our timeline, we have our property panel right here, and we have our asset uh, box. So let's jump into this and create this. So the composition settings, if you go to composition here and click on composition settings, you can change the dimension of this document, but currently it is 1920180, it works for our example. So I'm gonna just keep that there. So let's create uh, our design. So I'm gonna take the text tool and draw a text box. And this is where we are going to type our text. So this can be a paragraph, whatever you want. I'm just gonna to go to um, lorem ipsum and take some dummy text. Any dummy text is fine. So I'm just gonna take this part and let's paste it inside this box. So we have this right now. And uh, if you look at the attribute editor right now, you can see the text in here and you can see the typeface and all those things. You can also see a section where you can reduce the type size. So I'm just gonna re uh, reduce this uh, like this and you can place it anywhere that you want in the design. So I'm just gonna place it right here. And another thing that I'm gonna do to make the design is that I am going to create um, another set of objects. Uh, but before that, let's let's create the crumbling animation, which is super simple to do. So if you select the um, text box right here, and if you go to your shelf, the top shelf right here, you can see something called a Forge Dynamics option. Click on this, and it's done. So now if you click play, you can see that your text is coming down and falling down and it's crumbling. So that's basically all to it. Um, there is nothing more to this technique, that's all it is. But you can actually modify a lot of stuff in here. So if you click on the Force Dynamics, double click on it, you can see the property editor is opening here. And you can do some adjustments here. So if you see here, there are, uh, you know, um, something called gravity. So that's the reason it's sort of like falling down. If you sort of change this to 10, then this is basically going to go up and then collapse there. Uh, the gravity changes like that. Now it is hitting there and it's collapsing there because we have set the ground mode as the composition edges. So when it hits the edge, it is going to the edge is going to stop this text from going. If I change this to off, what is going to happen is it will just go away. It will just fly away like that. So that's something that can happen uh, to the text. Now um, another thing that you can do here is that you can add um, modifiers into it. For instance. Let's say our gravity is sort of um, five. So what is going to happen is that it's going to slowly move up, right? Or if you set it to zero, it will basically stay right there because there is nothing pulling it um, up and down. So, but once you do this, you can actually add several things into it. So you can add um, a force field into this. For instance, you can click here and say that I'm going to add a direction field. So you can see there is a direction field which is right here. So now what will happen is that the text is going to just go in that direction. And you can see that while it's going, it is breaking apart and going like that. So it's like 
wind hitting from one side and sort of like flying around in all the directions, right? So you can go to the direction, you can see the strength, you can reduce it to maybe 25. And then if you play it, it's going to slowly go like that. The wind is slightly slower, so it is just going to fly away like that. So it creates a very interesting animation right here. So once you have done this, uh, let me add a couple of more stuff in here. So I'm going to create a box. So let's create a box here. I'm going to just go into the zoom into the box. Control plus to zoom in. Select the box and just make it rounded. Now in the box on the right side, you can see that there is a fill option. You can change the fill or you can turn off the fill. I'm just going to add a stroke, which is black. So I have that right now. I'm going to add one more shape into it, one more object, uh, a text object into this, like the buttons that I've created in other designs. So I'm going to click, click here and then say that we will just change the text into beta. This is what I have typed in the example that you just saw. So I have this, I'm going to select both of this, this button here, I'm going to select both of this and I'm going to select right click this and then group selected so we have the button here so i'm going to just select the group right click and we can even rename this to button one so i have button one i can now duplicate this and control d i duplicate this i'm just going to move it right here and i will go inside of this and i'll change the text to um, something else like alpha so we have two buttons right here Let's change the position a little bit. Okay, so we have two buttons right here. So if I just zoom out of this composition and play, you can see that the wind animation is already happening. But button doesn't have any animation because we haven't added um, the force dynamics into it. So if I select button 1 and button 2, shift select both, and then click on force dynamics once again. And that is going to fold down because that is the basic setting of this, right? So now what I'm going to do is when this falls down like that, it just sits right there. This is what basically what I have done uh, in the animation. So I just timed it to a mouse animation and then that looks like the example that you saw right now. It's as simple as this. So it's super easy to do this. You can keep building more stuff into this. Now, let's take a look at how to create this in a free application and then use that to recreate the same effect much cheaper right so but i would really recommend this this has a lot of options you can customize your animation and all that but if you don't want to spend that much money and you want to create this effect quickly there is a website that you can go to so space type generator.com so once you are here in the site if i change this to crash it's going to give you um this particular preset which does basically the same thing that we just saw right there so what we are going to do is we are going to go to text here and we're going to reduce we can change the typeface to a couple of other options in here that's not great but it's still fine you can go down and you can change the physics strength of it so gravity what is the speed of the gravity right here uh, what is the kind of connections that it have it will have so if i um do this once again let's say reset this there is no connection to words also it is going to work like a uh, section there is no boundary you can create you can expand the boundary if you want and it will react accordingly so depending on the device that you're working on you can change the boundary of this and the debris if you can if you want to add the debris it's going to work on this so it, it creates more elements like you can see that it creates pictures and stuff like that. It's not something that we want right now for the effect that we are trying to do. And um, yeah, so basically this is how you work with um, this. So this is a free version which does the same thing. You can create blocks of it as well. So the text is going to act like blocks. Every word is going to act like a block. You have these options right here. And once you come down, you can export this as a mp4 so record the mp4 right now so i just reset it and record it and then it is going to come as a video right here and you can use that <coughs> in of in figma or wherever you want so this is a cheap way to actually get the animation done without too much of work so i hope you loved both the methods give it a try and i hope this helps i'll see you with another video till then bye